Hello, I'm Kelly Worthman. Thank you for joining us here on Colorado's News Channel. Thousands gathered outside the Capitol this morning in show of support for everyone's right to reproductive freedom, especially women. Connor McHugh is there now and spoke to several women who wanted their voices heard. The Capitol steps are empty now, but many of the women who made up the large crowds today hope their message stays on the top of everyone's mind, especially politicians considering anti-abortion legislation. Today's event lasted for several hours on the west steps of the state capitol. It was part of many other similar protests around the country demanding continued access to abortions. They all come after a controversial law was passed in Texas that both prohibits abortions after six weeks and also opens the door for private citizens to sue abortion providers and others. Today, thousands of women and some men joined in on the Denver protests, bringing signs and joining in chants. One woman described the event as powerful. We are powerful and we are humans and us coming together is very powerful and hopefully we can speak to politicians especially the ones in Texas saying that we're not going to stand down and we are very strong and we need this right for so many reasons. A small crowd from the group Students for Life held a counter protest at the same time today. The group in a statement told CBS4 there will never be a day it stops fighting for the rights of women born and pre-born. We'll have much more from both sides tonight at 10 on CBS4. In Denver, Connor McHugh covering Colorado First.